okay guys so welcome to part four and the next question we got over here is question number 36 pitched and sloping roofs are suitable for coastal regions plain regions covering large areas all of the above so the correct answer to question 36 can be option a okay coastal regions and these are the regions you can say which are built near the shoreline or you can say at the edge of sea okay you can also say these are the regions on near the water that's that's simple okay just near the water so near the water there can be a a high intensity or a wind with high pressure okay so building a sloping roofs can be suitable for those regions and there are another important points related to those okay i'm not gonna discuss those because uh short time so pitch and sloping roofs are suitable for coastal regions not for plain regions because in plain regions we always uh, build a plain roofs okay not a sloping roofs covering large areas this cannot be an option because uh, if you cover a large area with sloping roofs the cost will increase and there will be a high cost okay so that cannot be suitable so the correct option we got over here is option a next question a wooden block hinged on post outside a door is known by cleat yeah this is cleat okay option first that's correct one stop stop is not the correct one over here because um, stop is not hinged okay it is not a block okay not a hinged block uh, it is just a you can say a, 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 a like a edge okay a wooden edge or a plastic edge to stop the door just like that nothing else and horn this one is a cantilever portion of the head like this so this is also not hand it is fixed you can say so the correct answer to question 37 can be option first just moving ahead for question 38. If A is the offset of concrete bed in centimeters and D is the depth of concrete bed in centimeters, then D equals this, uh, D equals this, this, uh, okay, just. Uh, the correct option I got over here is option C, okay. D equals 0.775A. When you have offset, then of course you can calculate the depth of concrete bed, okay just by using this formula that's so simple next question it is question 39 in high mountainous region the type of roof generally recommended for buildings is shed type and gable gimbrel and mansard okay shed roof this cannot be an option over here because it is two-sided okay and in high mountainous regions there can be a snowfall a heavy rain okay so i think mansard can be the correct option and gambrel is also okay there okay gable gable is not also not a best option okay uh, it is a two-way slope roof but uh, uh, can be in uh, many direction like uh, in many planes you can say okay so gable cannot be an option over here however gambrel type and mansur type these both are um, the same thing almost okay but there can be a little uh, you can say a little uh, changes in both guys gambrel gambrel is already discussed in the previous video i think which is the roof okay uh, sloping in the two directions and there is always a break in the slope of each side that is a gambrel roof okay so this this roof is the best option for the high mountainous regions that's correct one option d mansur type roof these are also of course the you can say it is the type of gambrel type roof okay but this cannot be used because it is uh, it, it is making a slope in four directions so that's why it cannot be a suitable option for the mountainous region in high mountainous however this can be a good option for a you, for, you can say for a sub mountainous regions so the correct answer we got over here for question 39 is option c gambrel type roof all right question 40 
the function of cleat in roof truss is yes to prevent the purlin from tilting okay that's so simple purlin surfaces are always supported by the cleat in the truss roofs question 41 the other boring are not suitable in soils that require little supports in cohesive soils and soft soils and none of the above okay uh, I think none of the above can be the correct answer however we have an option over here okay uh, uh, let me just uh, analyze each option over here in size that require little supports okay this is correct it is not common to bore agar okay to provide agar boring in the soils which requires supporting okay in cohesive soils however agar boring can be suitable for cohesive soils but when it is more cohesive then it cannot be used in soft soils when soil is more soft okay one is a common soft one is a high soft soil so in a high soft soil agar boring cannot be common okay so all of these three are not okay over here however here we have in cohesive soil and soft soil so agar boring can be common in these both guys okay because they have not mentioned a high cohesive and a high soft soil so the only thing i'm gonna check over here is option a okay in soils that requires little support okay so the correct answer to question 41 is option a question 42 the pile provided with one or more bullies in its vertical shaft is generally known as under ramp pile friction pile bearing pile and sheet pile under ramp pile yeah these are uh, you can say it is known from the name okay this portion is just uh, uh, bringing the nape up under ram pile okay just these portions okay which are just bull okay bull you can say are brought outside of the, the the normal surface okay and friction pile these are just uh, piles which surface is made is rough okay and bearing piles which are brought to the rock strata in sheet piles these are just ms sheet you can say okay steel sheets so under ram pile is the correct option for question 42 okay question 43 pick up the correct statement from the following option a isolated footing is provided under column to transfer the load safely to soil bed yeah actually every type footing is provided to transfer the load safely to soil so isolated footing is also that thing okay so option a is correct column footing may have steps or projection in the concrete yeah that's also correct okay heavily loaded column base must be provided still oh yeah everything is okay over here so all of the above can be the correct option over here to question 43 okay Question 44. In any good staircase, the maximum and minimum pitch respectively should be. I think this question was done in the previous video. Okay, it was answered. However, I'm gonna answer it again. Okay, it is option D 40 degree and 25 degree. Okay, the minimum value for the pitch of the staircase is 25 and the maximum value is 40. Okay, so the correct answer to question 42 is option D. Question 45. Rough foundation are generally preferred to when the area required for individual footing is more than 50%. Yeah, of the total area, okay. However, there can be many points which should be considered into account while choosing a rough foundation, okay. Just look at this point over here. Individual or any other foundation area would approximately cover 50% of the total ground area beneath the structure, okay? So, uh, while choosing rock foundation, we're gonna check the total area and compare it to the, uh, the, the area which the foundation is gonna cover, okay? So, it is of course 50% of the total area. 
the correct answer to question 45 is option D. Question 46, okay. I think we have only 45 over here. So we gonna need to wait for part five, okay? So just wait for that guy. Hey, if you like these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon, and never miss an update from Engineer Boy. Thank you, dears, for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.